guys, it's Aquebs. Welcome back to my channel. Before I jump into this week's video, I would like to say that I have an art sale going on on my shop right now. So if you'd like to get something 50% off, then you can check it out right now on my Etsy store. The link will be right in the corner or in the description below. And now let's get on with the video. So for this week, I have decided to combine three artworks in just one video. Those were done as rewards for the first 10 people who pledged to get my artbook two years ago. And I'm finally editing the video. <laughs> so um, I haven't recorded all the artworks because I don't want to just have many artwork videos on my channel. Um, but I still really like those three and I use the same colors almost on all the artworks and the same tools basically and I just figured it could be fun to not just have one artwork time lapse but actually three combined so I don't have a lot to say about the artworks most of those actually uh, were based on some of my Inktober uh, challenge that I did two years ago and I've reused the same concept I've just basically print them out and I traced it with a Unipen fine liner, I've used the 0.1 millimeter size because the paper I'm using is quite small and I also really like that is um, quite versatile for the size of the knee because I can do a sign line and then I can come back and do the line thickness quite easily and so I really like that uh, size for pens but I don't use black lines quite often I, I prefer to have more of a softer contour shading type of finish but for those mini artworks uh, it, it just was easier for me because I kind of shaded with the pen first and then the coloring part was a lot faster because of that. Um, yeah, so the artworks, like I said, nothing special, just portraits with like flowers, that's my go-to recipe. I feel like I want to improve a lot on that, especially this year. I do have a lot of ideas that I want to work on, like my mermaids of the world. I also want to do more storytelling. I want to sketch more. I actually just bought a new sketch pad and I... I'm guilty of buying new stuff even though I already have plenty of paper but I you know am I alone here you guys like just tell me in the comment section am I the only one who just feel the need to buy a new sketchbook even though I already have plenty of those just because a brand new one feels so nice and it's not the same paper it's not the same sketchbook it's, I'm guilty of that Anyways, back to what I was saying about trying new things. I want, it's not just that I want, I feel the need after working with the style and the same artworks for about five, four to five years. I feel like I have reached a point where my art, I mean, I'm content with the style. I don't want to change my style. What I feel like is missing is just more like deep thoughts or storytelling or a little bit more depth into what I'm telling, not just pretty fantasy girls. And don't get me wrong, I actually really like fantasy artwork, beautiful fantasy woman. It's not nothing against what I'm doing right now, it's just that I need a change. And yeah, I think that's what I'm missing in most of my work. But um that's basically where I'm um, right now and it doesn't mean that I will only do very intricate complex projects. I also do like to do more basic, uh, not basic, but more simple portraits. Um, this is also why I'm making this video. I really enjoyed working on those mini artworks and I really like them, but I also feel like I want to do more in-depth projects and then in between also do fun things like portraits or just practicing anatomy or may maybe just painting and drawing without any characters and making challenges, I don't know, and sketch more like I said. I really feel like I want to push myself even if I'm making crappy art. This is the best way to practice and to get better. So that's basically where I am going right now. But uh, yeah, I also really want to get my channel back on track. I really feel like 
you know, after being uh, not on YouTube for a while, I really want to get back and post every week. And I do have ideas, challenges and sketching and all those fun things. But if you are really, really uh, waiting from, from me to make specific content, I would love to know what you would like to see from me if you are into maybe challenges or tutorials or I also want to talk more, maybe touch about um, any art topic in a voiceover and then do like a talk to talk 101 about a specific topic while I'm painting something or something. I don't know. I have ideas, but I really want to know what you would like to see. So that's basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. If you'd like to see more of my content, then click on my face and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. And if you have more time, then feel free to check more of my content. I will have listed in art challenges and also maybe in art tutorials. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps a lot. And lastly, if you'd like to get some of my prints or my books or any other cool thing, then you can head up to my Etsy store and check it out. So, thank you again and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!